You are now listening to the sounds of Mood Swing Music Group. What's up and welcome back to the channel. And today I got a special video for you, man. Today we are gonna get into some DIY acoustic panels. So if you got your own studio, man, and you're trying to get those monitors to sound the best that they could possibly sound, I suggest that you get yourself, either you purchase them or you can make your set of acoustic panels. So what I did first, I made me a list and went to my local hardware store. And here's the list. Also, what I left off of this list, because I had in my garage, I used uh, Loctite spray adhesive. It's about 6 or $7 a can. Also, I had the guy at Lowe's. He was generous enough to take the wood and cut it into three inch strip. So we got the MDF cut into three inch strips. The top piece, top and bottom pieces are 16 and a half inches. The side pieces are 47 inches and the braces are cut to 15 inches. Right here you see me, I'm just actually making me a line in the, in the center. I'm going to pre-drill my screws in. So what I did, I just put me a line in the center and then I just went an inch from each end. And that's where I'm going to do my uh, flush mount pre-drills. And also I have Loctite glue on here also, like the type of glue you would use if you were making a uh, speaker enclosure. Here I am actually putting the screen on after the frame is put together. As you can see, all pieces are put together. I'm taking the screen and I'm just basically, I measure it out, lay it across there. It fits perfect if you measure your uh, frames out. And there it is with the screen on it. And then I'll flip that over and then I'll insert the actual acoustic treatment on the inside of the frame with the screen on it. And here you see me just inserting the first piece of acoustic treatment. It actually fits perfect if you follow the guidelines and do the measurement. Like I said earlier with the 16 and a half, the top and bottom, the 47 on each side, that piece of uh, acoustic treatment safe and sound will fit right in. I got the 16 inch safe and sound acoustic treatment. And here I am putting the screen on the other side. And the screen is just to keep any fibers from moving. With the air movement, you don't want any of that those fibers to get in the air if you're sitting in your room because you'll be breathing those fibers in. And there I am just stapling it on. You want to tug it tight. You don't want to make it too tight because it will rip on. You just want to make it just tight enough to be just a little firm against there. And actually, it's going to, that screen is going to help you wrap it with your fabric. And you'll see me get to the end and I'll finish the staples and then I'll take my knife and I'll cut the excess screen off of there. I made these panels for right around $23 a panel. And with the amount of wood I got out of that one 4x8 MDF board, I was able to make nine panels.
I got my staples about, mm, I'm going to say about two and a half inches apart around the entire frame. And I took a trip to Joanne Fabric. And guys, I'm telling you, when you go in here, it's like a candy store. So do not do the goofy and get any of this colorful fabric. I used a 50% coupon similar to this one right here. But what I did, I just went with the traditional charcoal felt. I think I bought the entire roll. It was 10 yards. And here I am measuring it out. I'm just using a fabric marker and a uh, yardstick. And I'm just marking this baby out. My wife is going to cut it because I'm not really good. I'm, I'm pretty good at just about everything, but when it comes to using a pair of scissors, I just get a little loosey-goosey, kind of... Uh, I tend to mess things up a little bit, so I let my wife, who normally cuts fabric because she's a seamstress, she jumped right in there for me and cut all my panels for me. And I just cut them so that I would have some overage on each end and on both sides so that when I wrap them, I would have that excess to pull with so that I could tug it tight because I'm gluing them on. I am not wrapping them I don't I seen a lot of guys online that had them wrapped and it looked like they were wrinkled I did not want them to look wrinkled I wanted them to look as professional as possible so I used a Loctite spray glue and I actually adhered it the way you would do when you make a speaker box And as you can see, she's cutting a nice straight line. And that's exactly what I wanted because I wanted each one of them to be totally even so that when I wrapped them, it would come out perfect. Now once this is cut, you'll see me go to the wrapping phase. And here it is on the table with a little bit of excess. And you're gonna see me, I got it laid down. I laid the frame on top with the acoustic treatment in there even around all sides. And now I am spraying the actual frame. And then I'm gonna spray the actual material also so that when I put them together, they'll actually bond together pretty tight. So what I did, I actually let it sit up for like a minute, minute and a half on each side. And I sprayed it generously. I did not save any of the glue because I didn't want anything coming apart. I, want, I wanted to do it one time and one time only. So you just want to touch it and see when it's tacky. Once it's tacky, you can go ahead and start putting it on. So now you'll see me go right here and I'm kind of taking it and I'm giving it a light tug on this first side. So I'm going to give it a light tug and then once I get it on there, I'm going to rub it down really good so that the glue adheres to each other and forms a really tight bond. Now when I go to the other side, I'm going to kind of give it a nice tight tug. And what that does is going to take all of the wrinkles out of the front and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to rub that down also. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to stand it on the side and cut the excess off with a uh, X-Acto knife. In my case, a utility blade. I'm not real good with the X-Acto knife. I'm better with a utility blade, so I choose that over the X-Acto knife. But the X-Acto knife would definitely work. So right here, I'm getting me something to cut on on top of my table.
And I'm basically just going to lay it, I'm going to stand it on its side, and then I'm going to cut that excess off, and you're going to see how smooth of a cut I get. One thing, one tip I can give you is make sure you buy new blades and keep a new blade in your knife, because as you cut through this glue, your blade is going to get really sticky and start to stick to the material, and it's going to give you some raggedy edges if you don't keep a new blade in there. So I made like 10 panels and I may have went through about four blades. So it don't, it's not that bad, but it will get caught up. And as you can see when I'm cutting it, you can see the material wanting to kind of gather because it's sticky with that glue. So I just stood my knife up and went, and I'm just going perpendicular to the frame. And it gives you a nice, clean, sharp cut. And then when I get to the end, I just make that one perpendicular cut down the end of the frame. And then I cut that excess off from the side. And then once I lay it flat, you'll see, there you go, that it's actually perfect. So I've already put glue on the ends, and now I'm going to wrap the ends. Making sure they're tacky, and then here we go. And I'm just going to take it and rub it down all the way in the end and make sure it's rubbed down really tight. And then from there, I'm just going to stand them on edge and cut all the excess off, and you will have a completely wrapped panel. And then once I wrapped them, I just put some sawtooth, some large sawtooth uh, hangers on the back. I put two on each panel. And then I took some drywall anchors and some uh, screws, and that's how I hung them on the wall in the studio. It's really, a, it's really a simple process, guys. Uh, and one thing I can definitely say, once you do it, once you acoustically treat your room for real, because I had a RLX foam in my room for years and I just did not like the way it was sounding, but once I put these panels in the room, I'm telling you my monitors sound impeccable. So I, I, I highly suggest that anybody thinking about acoustic treatment, just go ahead and do it. Take a Saturday and just make your panels. I promise you, I think I did all my panels in like two days. It might have been a couple of days, just me doing a lot of prep and getting stuff ready, but a couple of days and I had all the panels put together. And there you go, perfect panel. Not, not looking like a poorly wrapped Christmas gift. And right here, I'm just letting you know that I hung them with two sawtooth hooks on each panel on drywall anchors. And if you like the information in this video, guys, you know what to do, man. Just get in the comments and ask any questions that you may have. And like always, man, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.